How to Pre-Plan a Burial Don't be taken in by the multi-million dollar funeral industry that over, charges for caskets and add-ons. You should pre-plan a dignified burial for yourself and your loved ones. You need to write and sign a living will, a power of attorney, and a last will and testament to express your wishes on your burial. Hey Race How Steps 1. Write down a living will to describe how you will be treated by the medical profession if you become unconscious or otherwise unable to make decisions for yourself in an emergency. LegalZoom.com is a good place to buy inexpensive document templates for your state. Or, a licensed local attorney who can give you a flat fee instead of an hourly rate. Note that all states require certain information, stipulations, to be in a living will, a power of attorney, and a last will and testament. This probably requires that you do some research on state laws or get a template from LegalZoom.com or hire a local attorney to proofread your drafts and notarize your documents. 2. Make a copy of your living will and put it in your medical folder or on your nightstand next to your bed, especially if you live alone or other conspicuous place. A safe deposit box is obviously not a good place for this type of document because it is not easily accessed in your absence. 3. Distribute the copy of your living will to family, close friends, and personal physician. 4. Get at least one family member and one friend to agree to serve as power of attorney to act in your interests, your advocate in the event that your living will needs to be put into action, executed. 5. Write down your power of attorney document listing the primary person who will act on your behalf and the alternates who will act on your behalf if the primary person cannot do so or is unavailable. 6. Distribute the copy of your power of attorney to family, close friends, and your personal physician. 7. Write down your last will and testament. This is a list of your valuable property and the identify of the persons who you want to receive your valuable property after your death. 8. Describe in detail what type of burial provisions you desire in your last will and testament. Most states allow you to be buried on your own property and do not require your body to be sent to a funeral home. Put in your last will and testament the provision that your body is to be released to your family or executor and not to a commercial funeral home. Most states allow this. Your executor or administrator, hopefully a caring family member or close friend, will abide by your instructions. 9. Pick out the type of container you want to be buried in unless you wish to be cremated. You have the right to be buried in a cardboard container or the fanciest casket you desire. 10. Describe the type of container you want to be buried in when you write your last will and testament, or, specify cremation. 11. Describe where you want your body to be buried or how you want your ashes to be disposed of. Most states allow burial in your backyard or for your ashes to be disseminated on any public land or private property. This seems odd, doesn't it? But, it's true. Especially if you have few assets and a poor family, make sure they don't lose what little you can leave them to the funeral industry. 12. Make a copy of your last will and testament. Put a copy on your nightstand next to your bed, in your safe deposit box or fire safe. 13. Distribute the copy of your last will and testament to family, close friends, and executors administrators. Make sure to give a copy to your executor that is the person you identify as the one who will administer the provisions of your last will and testament. Be sure to name a second preferred executor or administrator in case your first choice is not available. Give them a copy too. 14. Tell your administrator or executor to abide by your burial decisions and instead of paying for a fancy funeral, 
let your valuable assets go to help the living members of your family and friends. See? Tips PBS did a program called A Family Undertaking, describing the rules of burial in most states. You don't have to get ripped off by the multi-million dollar funeral industry. Warnings Fail to write down a last will and testament means the state you die in gets to determine how your property is distributed. Some documents require witness signatures and some documents must be notarized. Be sure to follow the rules for your state or province. It will pay to use LegalZoom.com, a local attorney, or research state law carefully. This is the part to spend money on instead of a fancy funeral. LOL.